Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rogue Life. My headphone on my left side is off now and now the Stellaris music sounds crazy. Rogue Life is the uh, the show where you only live once. That's actually just every day. All the time. Isn't it good? Anyway, uh, today we're going to be playing Stellaris, uh, which is an excellent game from Paradox, uh, which uh, caused some controversy when it was launched, and now we're back to playing it again. It's like No Man's Sky, but if you were kind of God. Um, the other thing we're going to be talking about is this. That. It's over there. Uh, my latest novel is up on Inkshares right now. We are uh, doing some crowdfunding this time to give it a good old college try. Uh, you can follow the link inside the description. The description, which is over... God damn it. Which is down there. Or you can follow this text, which is scrolling along the bottom of the screen. It's not scrolling. It's just statically along the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's an amazing story of a uh, land where... People just don't die because they drink this nectar, and and it's all wonderful, and it's 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 good, and it's it's a peaceful, wonderful place, uh, until you delve into the underworld of it, and everything's bad, everything's bad all the time, and our character Sinka must decide whether she's going to uh, maintain the establishment and this bizarre false paradise, or if she's gonna shake some shit up. Let me tell you. The story's more interesting when shit gets shaken up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check it out. I need 250 people to, uh, to pre-order the book, and then it gets published, and then you get copies. Uh, did you see that I'm coming up with alliterative tidbits to promote the book? Oh, God. So, eventually, we're going to have an alliterative list of new taglines for the book. Uh, and we'll see how much sibilance we can get into it because it's really funny to hear me on the stream go I have a spit guard on the microphone for reasons Yeah Okay, let's uh, let's go check out Stellaris now. Stellaris is a super good game Here it is uh, We're gonna be making a new civilization today uh, based on uh, one of the ones from my book uh, so let's say, let's, let's give them a human appearance. Hopefully I'll be able to change their fashion in some form or, form or fashion. Uh, the name of these people are going to be, uh, Brilliant is going to be, uh, the name. And they are going to be Brilliant. Not Brilliant. Uh, and so Brilliant. So there you, there you go. Everything's fine. Uh... The enlightened people of the city state of brilliance. I won't need to write more than that because I've got a fucking novel about them. Next. Uh, I'm gonna go with Avian, except for I'm gonna give them the prefix to their names of their ships. Uh, so these guys have some pretty weird names, like White Wing, x -Tac, Claws of Lavender, Claws of Grey. Really weird planet names and fleet names, because I still haven't figured out how to make a full custom name list, even though I think at this point I actually have enough stuff. Uh, the traits of these people, they're not going to be agrarian. They're going to be long-lived. What's this? No, no, no. I wanted to know what it is. Uh, species when it comes to foreign environments. Oh, well, actually, that might be true. Uh, but they are going to be... I know there's something venerable. Is that the one where they live a long time? Lifespans of the species are unusually long. Uh, and they are... This species requires slaves or servants to feel content. They are decadent. That's right, the enlightened are kind of the bad guys. Uh, nope. They can be charismatic, they can be communal. Uh, I've got trait points left and two picks left. They are not nomadic anymore, they used to be nomadic. Uh, they're not rapid breeders. In fact, they would be slow breeders. 
Uh, oh god, but that's really tough to 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 handle. Uh, I would say the natural engineers. Uh, what what would be like chemical bullshit? Uh, no, they're actually kind of terrible at sociology. Oh, biological studies. Um, um, uh, sure. Why? Well, why not? Um. I want to give them extremely adaptive. Is there a minus three I can fucking give them? Uh, no, they're only minus ones. Uh, we'll take that uh, away. And so I need a minus two and two picks. Uh, let's see. These are all really tough. Maybe I just won't take extremely adaptive. I think I just gotta take away, get rid of that. Instead, uh... I see Industrious on that list. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll do. That'll do. Alright, next. Uh, they have mostly female leaders. Oh, wait. Did that? Okay, sure. Whatever. Uh, and the title of this is Speaker of Light. Air title is going to be. Uh, oh, this is going to be. Uh, God, what is his name? That is, a, by the way, a temporary title because that's the real name of a real person and I can't do that. Uh, phenotype. I don't have uh, as many choices here as I would like. I need a better hairstyle, though. Yes! And cooler clothes. Cooler clothes have been done. Are there even cooler clothes? Ooh. Taken. Uh, I'm sad I can't make a better error name. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, Homeworld name is going to be... Brilliant. The star name will be Promise. Uh, and it will be a, a desert world, wherever the fuck that is. Arid world? Mesas, canyons, forests can be found in more temperate polar regions. Desert world. Dry, rocky, knocked to precipitation major bodies. It is a desert world. That's where they're from. Everything's tough. Uh, and they will have, where is Arthropoid, because they build things out of shells. Everything's terrible. Government and ethics. Oh, dear God. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're pacifists? I mean, they are, actually. That's actually their extreme pacifism is actually super important. Uh, to the fiction. <laughs> They're somewhat spiritual. They're pretty xenophobic is the funny thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh no, they haven't evolved past. Oh, xenophile. No, they don't care for it. Uh, I think they're going to be xenophobic. Uh, and I think they're fanatic pacifists. That's going to be really tough. Uh, it's gonna be really tough because I want to build ships because they're they're interesting. Uh, are they an indirect bureaucracy? No, they're a plutocratic oligarchy ruled by a wealthy elite. That's absolutely true. Uh, yep. Yep, I've made them. They are the They are the enlightened. Oh great. Uh and so this is in there. Uh 
Oh, good times. What strange flag will they have? Uh, Paradox, no. Uh, I don't think I've actually, but it's totally gonna be zoological. Or human, actually, what's human like? Um, actually, what I want is a sun. Or torch. Oh, I see a star. I think a star will do. I don't want to spend forever on this. Uh, and their primary color of vampire is going to be, let's say, orange for now. And their secondary color, oh, man, if I could. Uh, that red looks terrible. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, no! I should do uh, red and black. Uh, black. The other way around, thank you. Uh, if I could, I would do a V, but it's not going to be the right sort of layout. So there we go. Nice flag you've got there. Uh, their starting weapons are... Uh, they use thrown things inside of the, uh, inside the book, so we'll go with that. Uh, and I really like roads, and so I'm actually gonna go with hyperspace travel. Uh, and I think they're gonna end up... Arthropoid or Muscaloid ships? I think they're grosser as Muscaloid ships. So, next. And that's, that's them. That's the Enlightened. Alright. Uh, wait, what's wrong with traits? Cannot choose Decadent. Uh, trait unless you have chosen a trait ethos or government that increases slavery tolerance. Uh, what makes you... Alien slavery tolerance? I have that. Extreme pacifist collectivists. All right. Enlightened saved successfully. Oh, great. Does that mean uh, galaxy size, galaxy shape, AI empires, a bunch of them, AI aggressiveness, normal. Loud FTL mission, I want entirely hyperdrive. Uh, and Iron Man mode is totes off, even though that would make it more roguelike. But whatever. Let's get this party started. Let's spend fully 15 minutes of the stream doing fucking character creation. Yeah! Alright, I don't remember how to play this game. It's gonna be good times. In the eon since the first primitive, brilliant communities took shape amid the dune, great dune seas of brilliance, our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outposts were founded across our world, trade flourished and tied the various nation-states together. I'm putting my glasses back on. Everything's tough. Until they became a single entity. Power rested with the merchant princes, the true architects of our achievements as a civilization. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, the finest minds of the Enlightened have finished development of their first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are within our grasp! Good day, Chief Executive. Oh, Jesus! I am Veer, 
A prototype synthetic intelligence. Corporate headquarters recently activated me. An full tutorial, decision. motherfucker. You will have my full support. Absolutely. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. It's time to survey. So let's select our science ship. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. Right click on a not yet surveyed planet. Can't I tell to just survey an entire system? Click an object to survey the entire system. Control click to, to survey a single object. Great. To overcome the vast distances that separate star systems, our scientists have developed the hyperdrive. hyperdrive. This device permits travel at speeds far exceeding that of light between systems connected by hyperlanes. Researching new technologies will be critical. So let's see what we've got. Survey home system is going on. New World's protocol will enable us to construct colony ships. It's just the technologies. The technology so, screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. So I really dig this system as a side note, uh, because it's sort of like playing a, a card game of sorts. There's always a bit of randomness in it, because the tech tree, even though it exists, is less uh, obviously... Uh, Straightforward. Uh, let's see. Solar panel network. Ah. I think I like solar panels. Claws of Brown. I need you to research. Unlocks mining, mining network two, increases mineral capacity. I think I need to learn how to mine better. Okay, great plan, great job. Observer may already have noticed habitable planets are divided into a number of surface tiles. Tiles can generate resources, but we will need planetary buildings to get the most out of them. Hmm. I need to construct a planetary building. So let's go to my home world. I think I've got a quick button to go to my home world, don't I? Huh. Huh. This is our home world and the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. I need to look at the block list. Here we see a visual representation of this planet's surface. 
divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a single tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. Hmm. You are generating energy, but I would like you to generate more Some buildings energy. may cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Let us take this into consideration when constructing new facilities. Energy credits are most required for most things in ships. Let's build a power plant. The resources generated by our homeworld will only take us so far. Luckily, our science ship has just found a resource deposit on another world. The time has come to use our construction ship to build a mining station. What's this? During our survey of our home system, we found something on Frippet. Man, that, that planet's getting renamed. That did not match earlier observations made from our homeworld. I will research this special thing. Is this where I found the... Mining station can be built. Our board does not automatically collect minerals and need strategic resources. They have an energy credit cost. We have found an anomaly. From time to time, our science ships will discover strange things while surveying worlds. These can be... Res this is our construction ship which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. I would like you to build a mining station. Okay, everybody, get to it. Do your jobs. It's the start of a game, folks. We will explore eventually. Oh, did you finish your survey? Ah. Secrets at the doorstep. The anomaly on Frippet turned out to be a natural geometrical formation. It almost looks like a marker, showing the way forward. The natural beauty of the universe can be quite astonishing. We should continue to investigate these sort of anomalies whenever we get the chance. It will most assuredly grant us new knowledge. Astonishing! Very good. The new mining station is operational, and it has already begun gathering resources for processing. Woo! Do I have any other shenanigans that I'm supposed to be working on? Planetary building is building, technology research is going, and the survey job is going. Excellent. Construction has been finished on our new planetary building, and it should now begin producing resources. Surface tiles on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their use. Clearing a tile blocker takes time and costs minerals and energy credits, but the free space often makes it worthwhile. survey of our home system has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. <laughs> We should continue our exploration efforts. I recommend sending a science ship to survey neighboring. 
We may want to consider building a second science ship. This would double the speed at which we can survey our galactic neighborhood. I agree. Let us build. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets, build new ships, and upgrade the station itself. If the planet has no spaceport, we can order the construction of one if we have the necessary resources. I don't have any modules to install. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats, or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. No, no, no. Back to Brilliance. I want to build a ship. A science ship. Do I have the money to do that? Yes. Build. I've added it to the queue, I think. Where's my science ship? I think that you should go survey this system. Double the science ships means double the fun. Oh, I haven't been this excited since we completed the last assignment. You're out of your goddamn mind. We have a brand mind. new science ship, but no scientist has been assigned to command oh. it. Oh. My programming insists that I should point out the benefits of adding an organic scientist component to the mix. The bright estimating eye has made a startling find on Lashium mm, mm, 4. Mm, you're getting renamed later, too. The planet is teeming with alien life for the first time in history. We've encountered life forms that did not originate on brilliance. The amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on La are sentient, it's likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out there. I say. Construction queue complete. Pause. How do I assign someone to my other science ship? The leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. <sighs> Looks like I need to recruit. This will cost 50 influence, and I've got plenty. I think that's called influence. Yes. Uh, what do you specialize? Maniacal. Yes, I accept a maniacal. Let's do this. Uh... You are assigned the ship, and it's time for you, my dear, dear friend, to go to this potentially habitable place. Ooh, hyperspace lands are weird. Correction, survey this system. Good. The scientist has assumed command of our new science ship. Simple forms of life. The Enlightened, the The Enlightened, cunt, is a buzz with news of alien organisms discovered by the bright estimating eye some time ago. Whilst far from intelligent, life, there is life out there. A healthy supply of minerals and energy credits is critical to the well-being of any interstellar power. We should take steps to increase our production of these resources. Yes, absolutely. Uh, which actually means I should go to Brilliance, and I should go to the surface and see what I can build. Uh, she's not done growing. They're all good. How long till she's done? Pretty quick. Uh, let us build a farm. As long as you're already building a farm. And should I be building 
a... This is always so weird. Oh, Frippet also has a uh, construction ship. I need you to go to Frippet and build a mining station. Are there any other here? Yeah. How much will I shift this? Oh, I can't. Construction ship. Shift. Right. Build a mining station. I don't have the money for a research station. We will begin getting money soon. Anomaly found. Repeated scan of ZIF-1 surface give inconsistent sensor readings, almost as if the planet was in an unusual state of upheaval. Absolutely research it. Ziff Brannigan. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. We have the ability to manually design new ships in the ship designer screen. This is a fairly straightforward process. Construction complete. Uh. Science Officer Plume of Kaki has issued a report indicating that they are none too pleased having been ordered to study ZIF-1 where they have found nothing of interest. System survey complete. You jerk. Are you still surveying? Hmm. This looks like a profitable little world. What's this? Habitable. Currently cannot colonize this as I do not have ocean colonization. Habitability is zero. Uh, ocean world again. Hmm. Well, I think it is time for you to check out what's to check out Yandu's or Th Thrad. Survey this system. Eh, as if it's going all right. Uh, do I have enough money to do the research station? I do. Construction ship. I need you to build a research station. Oh, delightful, delightful. Strangely meditative uh, little game. Uh, so, it's not giving me much opportunity to express exactly what the Enlightened are like uh, inside of this universe. Anomaly found. Huh. System survey complete. As this planet was surveyed, a small nearby space station used its orbital thrusters in a vain attempt to hide from our science ship. What are they hiding? Research them. Uh, cons completed construction of a mining station. But it's fine, because it's going to move on. Goodbye. What about you? Uh, great research in progress. This system is fully surveyed. Uh, okay, Ziff system, you are completely useless. Useless. Well, that's fine, I guess. Right, Drift. I need you to maybe find a habitable planet for here. For us. My first murder. 
I should find a I should find a commander for this. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't actually developed any technology. Speaking of, how is my research going? In the contact screen, we see a detailed list of all the various empires we have encountered. Yeah, that's not All the happening. ships in use within our empire are designed here. New hull sizes and components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. Research, how are you doing? Nine months remaining? Everything's fine. I should build research stations. Still don't have much money. Uh-oh. A group of wildcat miners from Brilliance have already established an unauthorized mining operation on Yandu's One. How, like, how? Uh, the miners have taken have been taken into custody, but we've seized control of their illegal station. Oh, uh, go to. Our new research station is online, and its science staff have begun their work. What secrets will they uncover? What forbidden mysteries? Research complete. New fracking technologies will allow us to tap into previously unattainable pockets of geothermal resources. New research. Powered exoskeletons. Hmm. Hmm. This one's cheaper. It will be fine. Uh, so what system is this? This is in Yondu's. Well, uh, my construction ship, I need you to build a mining station. Why can't you? Oh, right, because I will need to first build a frontier outpost. Hmm. I only need 200 minerals to do that. Uh, let's see. I'm a long way from doing that, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna. This do is what we meant. Hey there. You need to build a. Uh, Mining network produces two. Didn't I research mining network two? Hmm. Well, we're broke again. Construction ship, uh, let's just move here. Let's get that taken care of. Abnormal conditions. As our science ship scans the surface of Yondu's 3A, it becomes quite clear that they found something out of the ordinary. Strong storms ravage the moon nearby, constantly, which can aid our resources and research, but will also be an obstacle for our population. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Great work. The stars neighboring our home system have been fully explored. We should use our construction ship to collect any resources that were found by building mining and research stations. Hmm. Oh, these are in the bounds now. Uh, so I want to build mining stations. Lacking money. Alien oh, vessel. Oh. We have discovered spacefaring alien entities that may or may not be intelligent. But let's face it, probably are. 
Their true nature will remain a mystery to us until we complete the appropriate project to investigate them. I suggest we do so post haste, lest they investigate us first. The Alpha Aliens. Enigmatic spacefarers. News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached brilliance, in many ways ending the first chapter in the book of the Enlightened's bid. Of thee, the Enlightened's bid for a stellar empire. Research complete. Oh, shit. Well, fine. What did we just complete? Energy storage capacity. Hmm. So this is a ship component. Yeah, I'll get better ships. Now, the thing that I want to know... Uh, does this say habitable? Oh. Oh, mining stations are so expensive. Now that we have explored some of our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. Frontier outposts can be built in orbit around distant stars to expand our borders, essentially allowing us to lay claim to new regions of space. Hmm. Hmm. Both my science ships are up to nothing. Nothing. It's time for you to survey this system. Other science ship. Oh my goodness. This is a fascinating, fascinating game, but it is a hard one to talk during. Hostile intel. Alien vessels. I should send someone to Thrad. I think I am sending someone to Thrad. Hmm. Construction complete. Alien proto civilization encountered. The survey of Thrad 2 has revealed certain regions of the planet are home to primitive alien proto-civilization. Our probe showed that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but they have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. Oh, is that so? Because that's very sad for them. <laughs> because this is the Enlightened, and they like servants. Which one is this? But no, where's this proto-civilization? No. Where can I see that? Make first contact. really want to increase my mineral production. I haven't actually developed any new things, so I imagine they're all the same.
Hmm, I need to do more mineral production. Can I upgrade this? Yes! Running network 2 it is. What about you? Can I upgrade you? Can't afford it yet. That's fine. Anomaly found. Research. Where is... Haha, <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wait, does that actually have something written? The Grasping Claw Nebula, of course, because I... My civilization has named things. Uh, but hi. Where are these hostile alien vessels? Ah, previously encountered hostile vessels in this system. Hmm. Hmm. But I think it is time to... The Species tab lists all types of nominally intelligent beings we have encountered, allowing us to modify or uplift them if we have the means and opportunity. Oh. Oh. So I guess I didn't uh, encounter... I thought I did encounter a, a... a species out there. But I guess not. System survey complete. Swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Thrad 1's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Beak of White is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Ooh, I found a habitable planet. Hmm. Survey this system now. I need to start building ships, but I'm not getting enough mineral income to do that. Take me to my home world real quick. Do I have enough to upgrade this? Construction complete. A triumph. We have established communications with alien beings. What a time to be alive. Or, in my case, powered on. You're a lunatic. Space amoebas. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new space-born life forms. Quickly named Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor in output, the creature is in fact larger than the average brilliant Corvette. Despite its apparent orneriness, further study is warranted. We can remotely monitor the creature and its kin from brilliance. Situation log updated. Goddamn right. System it survey happened. complete. Let's research that. Uh, let's get. We're getting so close. Oh god, I'm gonna. I'm running low on energy though. On energy production.
Various people have leveled up. Wait a minute, does that mean... Can I actually do something to them? When they say they've got a skill, there's no, like, upgrading my leaders, is there? Oh god, I can rename them. Oh god, I can rename them. That's terrifying. Uh, interesting. Still no new species, per se. Uh, let's get back out to the system map. And let's uh, science ship this shit. Oh. Well, Yondu's is clearly a linchpin planet, as is Bralix. Uh, let's observe the system. Hmm. Hopefully there's something in there, because it would be really nice to actually be able to just secure my home systems. By jump, jump gates. Special project complete. The Space Amoebas. The nickname became popular after the story of how it came to be found its way back to brilliance. Are solitary animals when left to their own devices, but all the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi independent organisms, dumb flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA laced secretions to do the bidding of the host. Initially assumed to be young space amoebas, the flagella do not seem to factor into any reproductive mechanics, each individual flagellum instead operating solely as a disconnected limb for its host amoeba. These flagella are capable of manipulative, manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. Situation log updated. Evading hostile fleet. Science ship Bright Estimating High has encountered a hostile alien vessel in front of Kerban is attempting to evade them. These are unknown spacefaring entities. We can learn more about them, and maybe even initiate first contact, by completing the appropriate... We've encountered some form of alien vessel in Serban system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should use caution. Investigate. Investigate the beta aliens. Okay. Hmm. 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 Not sure what to do about contact with these new beta aliens, but... The the enlightened. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't get to talk too much about my novel, but 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 it is available on Ink Shares for pre-order. Uh, it can be gotten inside of its electronic form for ten dollars. It can be gotten. Uh, it can also be gotten inside of a print form. Uh, for $20, or you could buy a whole bunch of copies all at once. All of them are much appreciated. Uh, it is a very non-standard fantasy. There are no wizards or elves or anything like that. As far as uh, the main character knows, anyway, all of the intelligent species are human. Um, which, uh, while inaccurate, she'll find some of that out during the course of the first novel. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Uh, please do uh, support uh, Seven Days a Servant on Ink Shares. You can check out our Patreon. Uh, all of those links are down inside of the doobly doobly do. I'm gonna have to get good at gesturing how to do this. Uh, and so, uh... oh yeah. Also, as my wife points out, I will be signing all of the print copies that people pre-order. So, uh, if you're a fan of my work on Red Dead Redemption or on Defiance or on any of those things. Uh, that is uh, a way to get a hold of my signature. 
my awful signature, which I guess I should practice because I have, you know, quite a few people getting those now. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all very much. Uh, love, peace, play more games, and all of that. Thank you.